Yo, what is going on, you guys? So today I'm bringing guys a brand new sports cards video. In today's video, I'm gonna be answering a very important question that I get asked multiple times a day on my Instagram, and that is, will the sports card market keep, continue to crash? Um, and will prices continue to fall? And if so, you know, what should I do? How should I prepare? And in today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down all of that. Of course, I'm at shows talking to a lot of people in the sports card space. And I feel like I have some pretty good insight as to what's going to happen. Of course, no one has the golden ball. So this is, of course, just my personal opinion. But what, before we get into it, I did want to say I'm giving away Darius Garland Prism PSA 10s in this video. Um, I still have a stack of probably 10 left. I've already given away close to 15 of them. So in today's video, we're going to give away three of them. Um, so if you would like to to enter in to win around a $50 card. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, like this video and comment the word done and three lucky people will get a $50 Darius Garland Prism PSA 10. Um, now without further ado, we're gonna hop right into this video. Um, so if you guys are unaware, for close to the last two years, I'd say, um, the overall sports card market has softened. Um, and I know a lot of people saw that coming during the pandemic when there was just so much you know, when prices were rising at way too fast of a level. Um, I remember, you know, times when the sports card market would literally double in sales, um, in eBay sales alone, um, in practically like one to two months. And that essentially continued for close to a year, if not over a year. Um, and so, of course, there was going to be a pullback. Um, and the pullback was bigger than a lot of people thought. Um, because of course, if prices had gone up, you know, 10, 15 X on some cards in the matter of a year, um, you know, there was gonna be something that stops it from going up. Like all markets, real estate, stocks, cards, any market you wanna look at, you know, nothing goes up forever, right? There's always gonna be pullbacks. Um, and that is honestly providing a very good buying opportunity. And I'm gonna explain to you guys why. Um, so of course, right now we are in a recession. I know a lot of people are scared to call it a recession, but I think it's pretty fair to call it a recession at this point, um, where a lot of spending has been cut back, not only on sports cards, though. Um, across the board, stock prices have fallen. Crypto has almost crashed in terms of prices from their peak. Um, you know, real estate prices are going down. So overall, the economy is in a very poor state right now. Um, and of course, the last two years, we had seen prices overall in this economy continue to go up. We had seen infl inflation at an all-time high. Um, and so essentially, we were just in a position where there was a lot of uncertainty and everyone had kind of expected a big correction. Um, now, one thing that I do want to specifically say about the sports card market is that the interest is not gone. The market is very, very steady, if not you know, growing in terms of the number of people um, that are continuing to get interested. And at least I can say the number of people, you know, that understand what sports cards are at this point. Um, you know, so I definitely can track that with my membership program. The new people entering the hobby, there's certainly a lot of them. Um, and I believe the true collectors are always going to be there. Um, now, however, the biggest thing is, you know, comps are falling. And so people who are in this market to invest, are you know very scared right now and it can be a little bit tougher to make money and I'm gonna make another video on that specifically how to make money in this market but one big thing I wanted to tell you guys was that you know if sports cards if sports card prices were going down and stocks real estate and all these other you know e the whole economy in general was going up now that would probably be a, pro be a problem because essentially what that's saying is that the interest in sports cards is going down however sports cards as a whole have held up pretty good compared to a lot of other asset classes including crypto um you know so sports cards in general the interest is there the economy is not there the spending is not there um, however, when the economy comes back, when the spending comes back, when things eventually start to climb back up, I expect sports cards to be one of those categories that also rise. Um, as you know, stocks rise, as real estate recovers, I expect that to happen. Now, it's tough to say when, of course, but a few big things that are coming up for the hobby that I believe are going to be crucial in the recovery is going to be one there's a lot of big films coming out there's a ken golden netflix series coming out there is an adam sandler film around high-end sports car dealing coming out 
And I think that's going to be a big, you know, boost in publicity for the sports card market. And I think that's going to bring a lot of new faces into the hobby. Um, however, of course, with that, if spending can come back and if we can start to recover as an economy, which I know may take some more time, it's tough to say and nobody has the golden ball as to when the economy is going to start to recover. But given how fast it really crashed, I think it's going to recover a little bit faster than usual because prior crashes, if you look at, you know, 2008 and just different, um, you know, economic crashes, um, you know, it took a little bit longer for, you know, everything to go come down in price. However, this last crash has been literally, you know, a steep, you know, downline for a lot of different asset classes. And so that is one reason why I believe that, you know, the recovery is going to be a little bit faster given how fast and how bad it crashed. Um, however, I do definitely think sports cards is going to be one of the crucial categories that does come back stronger than ever. Um, and of course, along with that, you have Fanatics coming into the sports card market. And Fanatics, of course, has incredible market, marketing spend. They've got 80 million you know, sports fans who consistently buy collectibles from them. Um, you know, so I definitely think even if a small, small percentage of Fanatics' fan base comes with them to sports cards, um, you know, and gives it a try, I think the overall hobby still has so much room to grow. Um, and I do want to give a little bit of, you know, a comparison because a lot of people, you know, you need data to kind of back up what you're saying because at this point it may sound like, this is just personally what I'm trying to say. Um, and, you know, the sports card market, as much as we love it and as nice as, you know, it is, it is a very small market, um, especially if you compare it to different other collectibles. Um, one example being, you know, sneakers, right? Sneakers was another big market that a lot of, you know, people my age and younger even um, have really got into in terms of investing, collecting, just, you know, a new kind of asset class that, you know, people love to put their money into as opposed to stocks and real estate like the previous generation mainly went to. Um, and so the sneaker market in general is, you know, to be honest, almost 100 times as popular as the sports card market. Um, if you look, every single release Jordan releases um, has been over six figures worth of pairs or over six figures in terms of the number of pairs released um, and they're releasing them on a consistent basis um, weekly there are new releases that you know can be as high as 500,000 pairs released for men's sizes 500,000 pairs released for grade school sizes so there's literally millions of new millions of new supply that's hitting the market literally on a weekly basis um, and if you look at sports cards you know, the supply on Luka Doncic PSA 10 rookie cards is 20,000 and a lot of people are freaking out. Um, and I know that is a big number for the hobby because the hobby is a lot smaller right now. But I truly believe that with Fanatics coming in, with all this publicity coming from Netflix series to Adam Sandler's, you know, big film on sports card collecting. I think there's so much room for growth in terms of just the sheer number of people that can be exposed to sports cards. Um, you know, if we look at the sports gambling industry, it is miles ahead of the sports card industry in terms of, you know, its maturity and how popular it is. Um, and so that is one big reason why I believe we still have a lot of room for growth. And that is one reason, as crazy as it sounds, I believe we are still in the first quarter you know, of this new sports card market, this new generation that is considering sports cards an asset class. Um, and so it's going to be really interesting to see when Fanatics really starts to hit the road. Um, of course, they're trying to finalize some things um, in terms of product and everything. But I'm telling you guys, it's probably going to be a little bit faster than you expect. Um, you know, with the amount of money they've already put in um, to, you know, get all these licenses and buy all these companies in the sports card space. Um, you know, they're billions deep into the sports card space. So I think they're going to do everything they can to really take it to the next level. Um, and I truly have my faith in that. Um, and so that is one of the reasons I've been buying heavily. Um, you know, I've been buying consistently, even as prices go up, down, whatever it is. When I find deals, I buy it. Um, and that is simply because, you know, I believe in being greedy when others are, you know, very scared. And if you guys know right now, there's not really a better time to really build a portfolio 
for the long term than during a recession or during a market crash. Um, and so that's what I'm personally doing. Um, and if you guys do want, stay tuned for my next video because I'm going to be breaking down ex what exactly my strategy is um, during this time. But I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope you guys got something out of it. I know a lot of this stuff, a lot of influencers are talking about nowadays. Um, but I hope this video brought a little bit of a unique perspective because I know a lot of people have been kind of having some pessimistic views, um, which I do understand. There's a lot of you know, scared people in the market, in all markets, not just sports cards. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Once again, if you would like a chance at these Darius Garland Prism PSA 10s, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe, and comment the word done down below. Um, without further ado, I hope you all enjoyed, and we're going to close out the video. I'm out. Peace.